Another legal battle for Mr. Godwin Emefiele, the immediate past governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. This time, the ex top banker alongside Henry Omoile have been slammed with a 26 count charge bordering on abuse of office, accepting gratification and gifts through agents, corruption, and fraudulent property receipt brought against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. At Monday's pre trial proceedings, Emefiele and his co-accused pleaded not guilty to the charges as read to them by the courts. Mr. Rutimi Oyedekbo led the team of EFCC prosecution counsel as he asked the court for an accelerated hearing of the matter and witness protection by allowing evidence in camera when the proper trial commences. The defense team of counsel is led by Abdul Hakim Labilawal. The two parties agreed that Thursday, 11th April, is okay for the commencement of the criminal trial. Labi Lawal then moved a bail motion for his client, begging the court to grant search on the most liberal terms. He asked that Emefiele, who is also on trial before a federal capital territory high court, be granted bail on self recognizance as a former CBN governor who has demonstrated that he is not a flight risk by dutifully representing himself before the FCT court at every appointed trial date since he was granted bail by Justice Muhazo. He also asked that the court should release Mr. Emefiele to his team of lawyers pending when he will perfect the bail conditions when granted. He prayed the court to also consider granting the second defendant bail on the same conditions as granted by another court presided over by Justice Sule Amzat as contained in the Exhibit A submitted to the court. The prosecution counsel did not object to the bail application but asked that the court should exercise its discretion judiciously. Justice Rahman Oshodi then ruled that he will be delivering his ruling on the bail application on Thursday 11th April 2024 when further proceedings are also expected to resume. But pending that time, he ordered that the Mayfield be remanded at the EFCC custody and the second defendant at the Koi Correctional Center. The doors slam shut and the EFCC van whisked Mr. Emefiele away to begin another round of detention.